The earnings season is still young, and yet Wall Street's rally this week is evidence investors are applauding the results to a certain extent. Markets reporter Sheila Dharmarajan has been following that. Sheila, there's more to the earnings than meets the eye. Absolutely. The theme for this quarter has been all about cost cutting. You know, a lot of companies are beating EPS estimates but missing revenue estimates. And here's the scorecard so far. Only 61 S&P 500 companies have reported earnings, so we're still pretty early in the earnings season. And the upbeat news is that 71% of them are beating the low bar that analysts have set. All in all, profits are currently down 24% from a year ago. That figure has gotten a big boost lately with recent earnings from GE, Citi, and B of A. And UBS strategist Thomas Dorflinger says the bulk of the earnings surprises we've seen so far is the result of companies cutting costs. But putting a positive spin on things is Thomas Lee, a strategist at J.P. Morgan, who says that in the second quarter, it's a place where many companies are beating expectations. And in his view, that's pretty upbeat news. Revenue gains have been hard to come by, though, and 68% of the S&P 500 companies that have reported so far are telling investors that their sales are the same or lower than a year ago. And that figure would be worse if it wasn't for the banks. As a group, they've reported much better than expected sales, to the tune of almost 11% beat of analyst forecasts. So that's really propped up the revenue picture. Investors do have a tough road ahead of them, though, when the weaker sectors report the results, especially energy and commodity companies and regional banks coming out next week. So it's really J.P. Morgan and Goldman Sachs that have been boosting the enthusiasm and propping up that revenue picture, but they're not really representative of uh, the banking sector. No, you're absolutely right, Gigi. They're not representative. And if you look at the numbers, both J.P. Morgan and Goldman Sachs made a ton of money from their trading books. Now, the regional banks don't have that trading investment banking business to offset losses. And they're also much more exposed to commercial real estate, which a lot of analysts think is going to be the next travel spot. So definitely some things we're going to be tracking very closely next week, Gigi. A lot of talk about commercial real estate being the next shoe to drop. Absolutely. Thanks, Sheila, for that report.